on the back home. Look how cute the tree is. Oh, hi dogs. Hi. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. Let's try to get here. Good morning everyone, I am going home today, I'm so excited. I literally woke up this morning at half past eight, I wasn't even meant to wake up at half past eight. I meant to wake up at nine, which is only half an hour before, but I'm proud that I woke up before my alarm. I'm literally just so happy to go home, all my stuff's packed. I'm now just waiting for the clock to turn till half past, so then it's like an hour before my train so I can actually leave. I, should, I could probably leave now actually, but I don't want to get to the station. It is freezing cold outside, like I woke up this morning to probably the coldest it's been in our house this entire winter, and I'm dreading now going all the way to the station which I'll be boiling on the tube because I've got a big coat and stuff however when I get off at King's Cross the part where I stand and wait for my platform is more or less just outside so I don't want to get there like half an hour before or like 20 minutes before even and just stand there in the freezing cold however I do this every time I sit and wait for it to turn to like half past when I need to leave and then I end up missing my train even though I've left with plenty of time so I'm actually gonna put my shoes on and stuff now and head to the train station but yeah like I said I'm heading home for Christmas driving home for Christmas yeah yeah. I'm heading home for Christmas today. My train's three hours long. Like, it normally is like two and a half, but today it's like three hours. Which I don't really know why. Maybe it's stopping at more stops because it is Christmas. I remember last time, or last year when I travelled home for Christmas actually, it was so unbelievably busy on the train. And I think I travelled back earlier on in December than I am now. So I'm kind of dreading getting on the train actually because last time I had to stand up the entire way. I have a reserved seat this time around. However, I have so many bags that I feel like even if I have a reserved seat, I won't be able to fit my suitcase in that carriage or my bags in that carriage. So I won't be able to sit in the seat. Obviously, I can't just leave my bags in any carriage. But yeah, it's currently 25 past. I have five minutes until I need to sit off. I'm just catching up with Anna. And then I am gonna, you know, head to the train station. Excited. I'm really excited. I just want to see my family. I can't be asked for the train journey. <laughs> so this is my train journey attire. I just realised how stupid I'm gonna look on the tube with this big coat on, this big scarf. Basically, I can't fit anything else into my suitcase or my bags. So, like, even this scarf will not fit. So I'm gonna have to wear it if I want to take it home. So this is what I'm gonna look like <laughs> on the tube with all these bags. I said, I've got two, but, like, it's heavy-ass bags. So I'm gonna be struggling the entire way there. I don't know if it's worth just calling an Uber, honestly, and then grabbing some breakfast whilst I'm at the station. Or if I just... I'll see how much an Uber is. It's not, we don't live far from the station, but still. I look so dumb. I'm just stood there like, everyone else on the tube is like, gonna work, and I'm here like, going, I don't know, to the fucking Alaska or some shit. Right, I went with an Uber just because I lifted my duffel bag up and my suitcase, I'm like, right, this is not gonna be lifted through the tube stairs, like, I'm not gonna be able to lift both of them at the same time, but I'd have to like, leave one bag at the bottom of the tube stairs while I take the other one up. It'd just be a mess. I booked an Uber anyway. I'm praying that the Uber driver can get my case in the car, because believe it or not, my case is really, really wide. And also because it's aluminium you can't like squash it into like a corner It's not like a fabric suitcase that you could squash into your boots So I'm praying that the uber's boots big enough. Um, I think I might grab breakfast when I'm actually at the um At the train station because I'm gonna get there like half an hour early, so that's fine <laughs> the longest train journey ever. I was sat on the floor the entire time. I'm finally back home. Um, it's so cute, like, going to the station around Christmas time. Because you see all like, the parents meeting their kids, like, from uni and stuff. It's so sweet. Ella's somewhere. Oh, she's on that side. Oh, fuck, I fucked up. Right, I'm gonna have to end this clip. So everyone, I'm now in Ella's car as you can see. That train journey, like I briefly said, it was the worst train journey of my life. I booked a seat on the train. So I remember last year, it was literally rammed so I had to stand up the entire way. It weren't rammed to the point where I had to stand, apart from like the last two stops. However, I was sat on the floor by the toilets because there were nowhere for me to put my suitcase. So I would have had to leave my suitcase in the section where you get off the train or go to the toilet. Ever one, anyone can just hop on the train or hop off the train with my bag then if I did that. But also, it would have just been like going from side to side in the carriage like it's dangerous I couldn't have just left it so I sat on the floor I met a really nice girl actually we were just chatting about uni and stuff so I sat on the floor the entire time but it did mean every single time someone wanted to come through the carriage I had to stand up so when the, the little trolley cart went along when people were getting on and off the train and I was like in the middle of the carriages which meant that every single time it stopped everyone would come through my carriage to get off so not the most pleasant journey and it also took like three and a half hours it normally takes like two hours and 20 minutes but because it's Christmas time I believe they've like stopped at more stops 
literally stopped like every 20 minutes or so. But I'm back home now, and with Ella. She's got hi. my jumper on that I didn't actually give her, <laughs> but she somehow still has. Oh, hi, dogs. Hi. Hello, baby. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, oh. hi, hi. hi. <laughs> right, well, I'm trying to do a kitchen tour of your new kitchen. Ta da! <laughs> Look at little Coco being in the bed. Hi. So this is the situation with the kitchen. We had the ugly blue kitchen ever since I've been alive. <laughs> Mom, you know it were ugly, otherwise you wouldn't it have changed it. Ugly at all. So I why did we get a new? Why did we get a new kitchen? Because it was falling apart. So, mm. so why not just repair what's already perfect then? Yeah. Because I was six and for actual. I wasn't six and mm. for the blue. I was six and for the the blue. The red. Oh yeah, the red! My mum's lying. Anyway, this is the I'm current situation of the kitchen. Look how cute our little Christmas tree is. And also, who got you this? Oh. French Bulldog calendar. Oh, Chelsea. Oh, cute. This is my tea what my mum's made me. It doesn't look that appetising right now without any gravy on. But it's a lot better than pasta, so... I'm happy with that. Just had my dinner and it's so nice to not just be eating pasta. I remember saying, I said to Hazard Frog, I'm so excited just to go home so I can actually eat good food. Not that I don't eat, mm, I was gonna say not that I don't eat good food back in London, but realistically I don't eat that great. So my dinner was lovely. Thank you to my mum for cooking that up. I actually had like seconds and thirds and I've been sat there a while just eating out of the actual pan. But now I forgot what I'm doing. I'm getting changed because I'm going to the carvery with Megan and Ella. Basically, I forgot earlier on today I agreed to go to the carvery tonight with Ella and Megan for dinner and then my mum made me food and I felt bad on my mum that she just made me food and then I were gonna dip in like half an hour and go eat again. So I've ate the food that my mum has plated up for me. Obviously just had that now. But I'm gonna go to the carvery and I don't know if I'm gonna eat. It depends when I get there like what I'm feeling but I've said to Megan and Ella that I've just accidentally may have eaten already so my bad. But I just need to figure out what to put on because currently I've just got a t-shirt on and it's freezing outside. So I need to wrap up. I'm gonna put my hoodie back on and then head out with Megan and Ella. I don't know if I'm gutted that I can't have the carvery as well. I probably could but like I probably realistically wouldn't be able to fit it in my stomach not gonna lie just been having a full conversation with my younger brother um, and he won't reply and I wondered why and he's got his earphones in just trying to find me deodorant you know look how cute the tree is it's really weird the lights look blue in my camera but they're white in real life Ooh. Oh, hi, Coco. <laughs> I don't know if you remember from every other Christmas. Mum's obsessed with these. Is the one in your bedroom now? The white yeah. one? I said to Dad, I was like, is that new? You're like, I'm not sure. Where did you end up getting the tree from in the end? Uh, garden centre near... Do you know where Red Lion is? Do you want to kiss under the mistletoe? Can I fart shit? Coco? Mwah. I didn't see that. Is it? Why is there presents under her already? Because... Because Santa's not real. The podcast that comes out tomorrow, I tell the story of how I found out Father Christmas weren't real. Tomorrow, 5am. Yeah, 5am, no, 5 5 it gets aired. It's it world. How corrupt you and Dad are. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> so my mum just said to me, I bought this for you, but I've been eating it instead. Uh, realistically, I don't even like peanut butter anyway, so you bought it for yourself. So you're a liar. I don't actually have what one. I had a, had a body shop one. Body shop calendar. Would you like one of my I don't like Reese's, Reese's Pieces. <laughs> Right, even though I did just have a Sunday dinner at home, I've come to Carvery and I'm eating again. Lovely, lovely. Right, so we literally just finished up at the Carvery. Like I said, in there, I weren't, like, I planned not to actually eat anything. I came and these guys were like, oh, you've ruined Christmas, obviously, as a joke. Um, I planned not to eat anything and just literally come and sit and chat. But I ended up having a full uh, Carvery, so that's fun. Hopefully, I put on weight from it. Now you're you to put in one strip of meat and some No, cheese. I didn't. I had a full, Megan, I had a full Carvery. Megan said I had one yacht put in a strip of meat. I did not. I had a full Carvery. I just had a sort of, right, let me off. Anyway, I thought I did go. Anyway, that's besides the point. We are now going to a street that I went to last Vlogmas, actually. If you watched my Vlogmas last year, you will have seen that I actually went to... I don't know whereabouts it is. If anyone lives in Sheffield or around Sheffield, it's near Door, right? Anyway, we're gonna go and see some Christmas lights. I vlogged it last year. It was really fun. Apparently, it's not as good this year because Ella's already jumped the gun and already been. But we're gonna drive there and I'll show you all the pretty Christmas lights. But I just wanted to let you know. Finish my Christmas... Finish my Christmas dinner. I'm, I'm, I'm going. Bye. <laughs> Can I get um a toffee nut latte, please? Yeah, is that right? Can I get a toasted marshmallow hot chocolate? Can I get the toasted marshmallow hot chocolate, please? Yeah, is that right? What did you get? <gasps> what did you get? My name's Megan, and I got a caramel macchiato with oat milk. <laughs> toffee lute. Did, yes, no, you didn't. Yes, it's telling your name. But you said it's Christmas, you name your age. <laughs> telling your name, you name, where you're from, <laughs> and what drink you've got. My name's Megan, I'm from Sheffield. No. <laughs> 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 Starbucks, here we go.